Whenever I wore lipstick, people would be like, oh, where's she going? That's very slutty. Red lipstick and short skirt, you know, what's she asking for? Why are you wearing makeup at 7 a.m.? Like, who does that? How can you love her? She wears layers of makeup. She's so fake. How can you be with her? So makeup to me means self-expression. Highlighting my features, an extension of myself. That's what makeup is to me. More than anything, it's something that's basically uplifting if I have to use one word to define it. As a fashion blogger, I'm always trying out different looks. If I'm feeling edgy, I'll put on a red lip. If I'm feeling feminine, I'll put on a pink lip. But little things, you know, like when you're around your friends and they make certain comments like, why are you wearing such a red lip? Like, you know, it's not looking good on you. Or like, you know, you have a big smile. So try not to smile too much when you wear lipstick. So actually, even right now, I have that complex. I'm like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't smile too much. <laughs> small, small things that people say, these small comments and these small judgments that people pass that are actually makeup shaming and you don't even know it. Somewhere inside you do, you know, question yourself and go look at yourself in the mirror again that, okay, you know what, is this too much? Should I tone it down? My husband posted a picture of both of us on his Instagram and one of my followers has gone and commented on his profile saying, how can you love her? She wears layers of makeup. She's so fake. How can you be with her? I mean, how ridiculous is that? You know, even in the film and TV industry, there's always these stereotypes. You know, if the girl is a vamp character, then she will be the one with the most makeup. So if women wear, you know, too much makeup, there'll always be people saying, oh, you're trying to look more beautiful. That means you want something. That's the mentality. See, these people are just sitting behind their keyboards, thinking that they can say whatever they want and it's not going to affect me, it's not going to affect her. But it does affect us, it affects me. So when did I change from caring about what people thought about my makeup and not caring at all? I guess it was when I decided to flip the switch and really not care at all. I realize everybody has an opinion. But what's more important is that it really doesn't matter to me what their opinion is because at the end, it's about how it makes me feel. This is my form of expression. If I want to express myself like this, I will. One thing I'd like to say to young girls out there that you do you. So if you think wearing makeup or wearing a red lip or whatever that is will make you feel good about yourself, please do it because in the long run, it's not going to matter. I feel that women should do what they like as they feel. And if they want to wear makeup, they wear makeup. You know, if it makes you feel beautiful, confident and ready to take on the world, it doesn't matter that you're made up. You be you. To all those who shame you, divide you, ridicule you into believing that you're anything less than you are when you wear makeup, you wear your makeup like a badge of honor and you tell them, hey, I am Juhi Godambe, we are made up and proud. Hi, I'm Shnaz Treasury, we are made up and proud. Shireen Bharwani, we are made up and proud. <laughs>